Welcome to the AACS Daily News for January 12, 2016. Due to a federal law, many states have been encouraged to suspend the driver's licenses of those convicted of drug crimes. Many states followed a provision that will allow them to opt out of the federal law, and now lawmakers in Massachusetts want to follow suit. Attleboro State Representative Paul Hero recently co-sponsored a bill that will allow those convicted of drug crimes to keep their driver's licenses after they've served their sentences. We briefly spoke with a representative to learn more about the bill. I co-sponsored a bill which would um, make it so that the Massachusetts uh, you know, state government can opt out of a pr provision that comes from like the 1990s, 1980s. It's sort of a relic of the war on cr uh, drugs. So the, uh, the current federal law basically states that um, states need to, you know, under the threat of uh, withholding their transportation funding, highway funding, they need to suspend the licenses of people who have been convicted of certain drug crimes. However, there is an opt-out provision, and that's what we took advantage of in the legislature. The um, bill that was uh, passed that I co-sponsored basically would reinstitute a license for someone who had it suspended previously if they've been you know, convicted of a drug crime. Now, the reason this is important is because uh, when somebody doesn't have their license and they're coming out of jail or prison with a certain drug offense, you know, on their record, <laughs> they have a hard time, you know, getting to and from work, picking up their kids, you know, just basic day-to-day -day functions. So the logic is that it actually acts as a barrier to reentry. you know, having this. Um, it was supposed to be like one of those get tough on crime type provisions. But what this actually did was it increased the risk of recidivism. The three pillars of prisoner reentry are housing, health care, and uh, employment. And you know this directly affects uh, employment because then people were not able to get back and forth to work. If you had your license suspended, there was a $500 reinstatement fee that you had to pay after a certain period of time, and you know that the period of time you know may have. Uh, differed based on the you know offense that somebody had. So this basically, the bill right now um, passed the House, uh, and but it was slightly different than the Senate version. And so because the House altered it ever so slightly, it now has to go through what's called a conference committee. The House and the Senate get together, they reconcile the differences between the two, and then we vote on it one more time. And once something comes out of a conference committee, there can be no more changes. So the House and the Senate will have to vote on it before uh, it goes to the governor because these uh, edits were made to it. So once the governor signs it, then you know, typically legislation takes about 90 days to become enacted into law. That's it for today's update. For AACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.